Hello, it's Mr. Omari here for the final of my little videos about language analysis. Now, as you know, hard-working, decent, moral people who know right from wrong, people who love this country as much as I do, people who believe in God and who always know how to do the right things, they will be listening in to me closely. But those other people, they won't. So, I am of course talking about appealing to various things that convince your reader. One of the things you can do is, is appeal to the sense of right and wrong, that is morality, or decency. So we basically appeal to the notion that people have of there is a right way to behave and a wrong way to behave. And what I'm suggesting is the right thing, and what my opponents are suggesting is the wrong thing. So, the mayor must choose, must decide to do the right thing for this town. It's not just the sensible thing, it's not the practical thing, it's the right thing. You bring that kind of moral dimension into it. So if you don't agree with me, you must want him to do the wrong thing. This is an appeal to, to morality. You can have an appeal to faith. And this is um, common in lots of places. You see this in Australia, you particularly see it in American politics, but you see it around the world. It's not The Americans don't have a monopoly on it. So good Christian people agree that or good Christians, or Christians are outraged, or, you know, Muslims believe this. You know, you basically say, if you if you believe in the Almighty, then you will agree with me. Next up, you can just appeal to common sense. So, you know, how can you argue against common sense? It's a fairly persuasive technique, this one. So anyone can see that this bridge is not needed. So it's just, you know, it's saying this is right in front of your eyes, and if you can't see it, then basically, of course you can see it. It's that obvious. So that's an appeal to common sense. Um, next up, you can make an appeal to a country or an ethnic group or even a local group. So um, you see this, you know, Australians realise that this bridge is only good news. You know, real Geelong people understand that this, this bridge is needed. Um, you know... Um, true, you know, all white Australians need this. You appeal to a group and you basically make it look like everybody who belongs in that group would believe with you, would believe what you believe. So these are all these various appeals that you could make and you're basically framing it that, you know what, everybody in this group, you know, if you're a, a moral person, you must believe this. If you're an Australian person, you must believe this. If you're a Christian person, you must believe this. And you can even do it for faith of people who don't have any faith. Like, you know, all rational people must believe this. You're appealing to rationality. So that's another one to look out for in your language analysis.